Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison video. This is going to be a follow-up to my previous, my old uh, Intel vs AMD series. So Ryzen's coming out soon, uh, and I'm going to be definitely upgrading and building a new computer with it. It's going to become my main computer. Um, so this is my Intel computer that I'm using right now. I've been using it for almost four years now. This has a, you can see, it has a, where is it at? There it is, Intel Core i7. 4770K, so this is a Haswell mainstream i7. I have it overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz as a maximum speed, so it's effectively a Devil's Canyon 4790K. If you have one of those at stock, that's what you, that's what the results here are gonna reflect. So this is my main computer. I've been using it for my Twitch channel for a number of years now. I've been using it for rendering, workloads, everything basically. Um, so we're going to get a baseline of how it does and how it stacks up against Ryzen once Ryzen comes up or comes out. Next to it, over here, we have a Vishera 8350 system. So this is the one, this is the same computer that people have seen me use in my previous videos where I compared it to an Intel Core i5. Well now, showing how it has aged we're going to see how it stacks up to an i7. So this is the 8350. It's overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz. So it's effectively a FX 9590. So this video will be 4790K versus 9590 because that's what the clock rates are. So this one, this both have 16 gigs of RAM. The AMD one does run at a faster speed of 1866 DDR3. CL9, whereas the Intel is at 1600 CL9. But as you can see, it's not going to make a difference. I'm pretty sure the Intel computer is just going to completely abolish uh, the AMD one. So we'll see, because it's going to be like it's going to be like in Dragon Ball Z when Zarbon beat Vegeta round one, but then Vegeta came back and got stronger. And we'll see how Ryzen like comes comes out and like wipes the floor with the Intel. But anyway. So I'm going to try to press F12 here at the same time. Let me make sure I have my application selected. There we go. So ready. There we go. So they're both going. Let me step back here. You can see. There it goes. Devil's Canyon. Out the gate. There it goes. The pile driver. And you can see all eight threads for AMD are running at 100%. And then you have uh, all eight threads for Intel running at 100%. So there's 4.4 gigahertz. I don't know why uh, Windows 10 is retarded and like reports the speed on both of my processors all wrong. But it, that right there is the speed. It's 4.4. If you were to look at CPU Z while doing this, it would be 4.4. And then the same thing with this one. It would be 4.7. Because 4.7 is the maximum speed. So. so now we just wait. Looks like Intel's already done. So let's get the result. I've, done the, I've ran the test like a dozen times already just to make sure my numbers are right. So right there, 59 seconds. So just under one minute. It took it to complete this test run, this render. And then here, uh, pile driver is coming in. So what's interesting, because I know that probably a lot of people that are going to upgrade to Ryzen are AMD people, like me, who have had uh, 8350 for a long time. This is my AMD computer. It has the Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z motherboard, the motherboard that was designed for the 8350. So there, just finished. And the time is 1 minute 48 seconds. 40, if you round it, that 0.6 would be 1 minute 49. So uh, almost a minute longer, not quite a minute longer than the i7. But it's interesting to establish a baseline here because when we're going to be doing benchmarking later on with Ryzen, you want to see is it worth the money to upgrade, right? Well, that's basically the results. So you can see Intel, an Intel Devil's Canyon, which is pretty much the same as a 6700K Skylake. Skylake's probably a tiny bit faster. Uh, I probably would get like 55 seconds or whatever. But that's basically it. Uh, less than a minute, just under a minute for the 
the Haswell series overclocked and just under well about a minute and 48 seconds for the pile driver. But interesting to see how an 8 core Ryzen chip compares to the Bulldozer series here which is an 8 core uh, and then the quad core with 8 thread Intel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.